What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. With a large lineup of strange and wonderful mod packs in the Minecraft universe to launch today and take for a spin, it can sometimes be hard to find the perfect one to play. However, it's the most convenient way of getting a pre-configured and pre-packed modded Minecraft experience with all of the hard work setting up already done for you. They're simple and easy to install and launch with just a few clicks of a button, and each have different themes and objectives to them. With the last few Minecraft mod pack videos that I did being super popular, it's time for me to make another. To check out my other mod pack videos in this series for some more other ones to play, and to check out the ones which are your favourite that I missed off this particular list, then go in the description below to check all of the other previous videos out, linked down there. In this video I'll be talking about the top 10 Minecraft mod packs to play with friends. I'll show some of my favourite and best Minecraft Minecraft mod packs right now that are fun to play with others and not just on single player. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Direwolf 20. Direwolf20 is one of the most well-known old-school modded Minecraft YouTubers, and perhaps you've heard of his channel just from the mod pack alone of the same name. The original Direwolf20 mod pack was a mod pack for Minecraft 1.4.7, but there's since been versions from 1.5 and 1.6, up to 1.7 and 1.10, and more recently Minecraft 1.12.2. The pack is a huge mod pack made in partnership with Feed the Beast for the Feed the Beast launcher, and it's also available on Curse and has a ton of tech and mixed type mods based off of his series. This has been a very huge and popular mod pack for many years now, which is why it deserves a place on this list. The best way to describe this pack is that it's a kitchen sink pack, meaning that it has tons of mods packed in there with no clear objective. Curated for 1.12, this pack has some popular mods in it like Actually Additions, Astral Sorcery, Biomes O Plenty, and Blood Magic. There's a lot of stuff to do in this pack and many features to explore with friends, and they're not the only mods which are in there. Number 9, Forever Stranded. I featured this pack once before originally in my very first mod packs video, and I'm going to yet again recommend it because it's actually super fun to play with friends on too. The whole story and concept of this mod pack is that you've crash landed upon a planet surrounded in sand and are stranded, facing some challenges. You need to get water to cope with the heat, get food to curb your hunger, and battle through a hardcore mode map which is pretty tough. The nice thing about this mod pack is that it has quest lines in it which gives you a template of objectives that you can follow and get to work on. For an amazing space shuttle build to spawn in and explore and a harsh exotic planet climate, this pack is really nice to try out. Number 8, Sky Factory 4. Sky Factory 4 is the latest Skyblock mod pack, said to be the ultimate one and it's the latest in the Sky Factory mod pack series. This pack is basically a modded Skyblock experience but with a twist. With full automation, tech mods, magic and new resource types, this mod pack brings over 30 plus new world types to play on that makes things unique. The resource gathering was completely redesigned in relation to the original Sky Factory 3 pack and it's now more immersive, with additional progression systems and advancements to utilise, as well as a brand new prestige system mode that lets you unlock the various mod based items and elements through an alternative progression system route. This pack has a strict regime of tasks to follow which is perfect to tackle in a team for anyone who likes instructions. I personally like the tutorial mode which gives you advancements that tell you specifically how to play the mod pack and where to go next. Number 7, Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles. With brand new recipes and features, this magic and technology based mod pack brings a blend of both elements whilst keeping things balanced. The different paths offer different playstyles and each also benefit off of each other. There's a whole bunch of exploration and adventure mods in this pack, with a total of north of 1750 plus quests which are made to fit around the mod pack's features, offering rewards as you progress and guiding you along the objectives. Number 6, FTB Infinity Evolved. 
From the Feed the Beast team, this starter mod pack is a fun pack with some new game modes, normal and expert mode. This mod pack is a multi-purpose one that contains a series of more than 150 mods which are designed for the average player to play with. Some mods included in this pack are Buildcraft, Ender.io, Computercraft, Batania, Forestry, Iron Chests, Nether Ores, Portal Guns, Thormcraft, Witchery and a lot more other popular mods which you may be familiar with. There's a ton of diverse magic mods for anyone who loves witchcraft and wizardry, but also some great technology mods, so the blend here is actually really nice and it makes for a good combination. Number 5, Agrarian Skies 2. The original Agrarian Skies mod pack was a 1.6.41 which was a hardcore skyblock style experience with a detailed questline from the hardcore questing mode mod. There was a lot of quests in the original mod pack and it had mods like Applied Energistics, Mine Factory Reloaded, Infernal Mobs, Simply Jetpacks, Thermal Expansion, Tinker's Construct and Harvest Craft to name just a few. There were so many huge mods we loved that were in the original pack, with Agrarian Skies 2 being the more to date latest version for Minecraft 1.7.10. In the new pack you follow the quest book and answer to quest givers as you make an effort to start from nothing whilst rebuilding your world. Number 4 Techit Classic Reloaded the reason why you'll hear me talk about the Tekkit Classic mod pack a lot in some of these videos is that it was my favourite childhood mod pack for Minecraft during my early teen years and I have some pretty fond memories of playing on it with friends. Well Tekkit Classic Reloaded updates the original Minecraft 1.2.5 pack right up to Minecraft 1.12.2 for a much more modernised experience with a lot more Minecraft core vanilla features. This aims to port the classic pack to the later Minecraft versions with some original original mods leaving the lineup due to not being updated and some newer ones being added to the roster too. This pack aims to retain the original playstyle of the old Tekkit and has around 65 mods and it's fairly lightweight. Tekkit Classic was one of the best mod packs to play as a team with friends so I definitely recommend this pack if you love machines and things like transmutation and alchemy because it really has it all and the fact that it's been updated to support later Minecraft versions means it's not so much as a chore to actually play on if you're already familiar with the later versions of the game. Number 3 Pixelmon Reforged Pixelmon is one of the most popular Minecraft mod packs of all time. It basically brings Minecraft and Pokemon together. Although it doesn't really bring a Minecraft style, you can capture, battle and trade Pokemon and do tons of stuff in this game mode. You can transform your Minecraft into a Pokemon game with this mod and play with your favourite Pokemon. This is a ton of fun online on servers and it can be fun to collect Pokemon and try to obtain the legendary ones. There's other versions of the original mod which are Pixelmon Reforged and also Pixelmon Generations. Each version have different development teams and offer different experiences, with Generations allegedly being updated a little more and has more 7th generation Pokemon than Reforged does, but Reforged is a smoother and more stable experience and it's more authentic to Pokemon. Number 2 RL Craft Starting out as a simple thing for some friends and their server to play on, RL Craft is a monster on YouTube that you've probably seen from all the bigger YouTubers who played it. I mean, I even played it in a series on my channel too. Basically, the RL stands for Real Life or Realism, and it's basically a super hard pure survival pack with adventure and RPG features that's super immersive. This pack is famous just for the sheer number of mods contained within it and how tough it actually is to play. Basically, you're going to die a whole lot in this pack and probably have to read countless wiki pages and guides on the internet on how to craft even the most basic things because so many of the recipes and core mechanics of the Minecraft experience have been completely overhauled, altered and generally just changed. Number 1 Hexit if you like exploring Minecraft with friends, Hexit might be worth playing. Gear up and join a campaign with dark dungeons, towers, dark ruins and magical tomes, create powerful artifacts and claim your land, or tame beasts and craft your own story. This pack is best played with friends but it can also be pretty fun to play alone. With a roster of mods focusing primarily on adventure, with dungeons and dragons as an underlying theme, this pack makes exploration interesting and the game generally more satisfying. With 
with quality content on offer. Alternatively, if you don't want to play the original 1.5.2 pack, you could also try the Hexit Updated pack, which is a third party version on Minecraft 1.12.2 and the version which you'll see me playing in the background footage of this video. And that concludes the top 10 Minecraft mod packs to play with friends. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you see that I missed your favourite mod pack in the video, definitely let me know what that is in the comment section below, and tell me which of these 10 mod packs is your favourite and why. And make sure to check out my last few mod pack videos on the channel, because most of your favourite mod packs have already been featured in those videos, so they will be linked below. Make sure to subscribe for more Minecraft videos with notifications turned on and follow me over on Instagram at the Blue Crusader for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.